By definition, hypothesis testing is a type of statistical inference which assesses the evidence provided by data about some claim concerning a population. So, dalawa ang uh, major topics ng inferential statistics, yun yung pagkuha ng confidence interval at yung pagkuha ng hypothesis testing or paggawa ng hypothesis testing. Ang una yung dapat malaman sa pag uh, aaral ng hypothesis testing is kung paano magsulat ng mga hypotheses given a, given a word problem. Now, there are two competing statistical hypotheses in statistics. Yung una, yung null hypothesis, at yung pangalawa, yung alternative hypothesis. Now, by notation, mathematical um, symbols, ang null hypothesis should be written as such. So, H sub 0 or H null could be mu equal to 0, or H null could be P equal to zero, o kung ano man yung parameter na pinagkukuhaan nyo ng inyong hypothesis testing. Now, pwede magkaroon ng iba't ibang value itong mu nyo or yung P nyo depending, do, depende doon sa word problem na sinasagutan nyo. So, ang null hypothesis always equal sign or equal symbol yung ginagamit. At kapag naman yung alternative hypothesis, meron kang inequalities na pwede mong gamitin. Pwede mu is greater than zero or mu less than zero or mu not equal to zero. So, ito yung tatlong inequalities na pwede nyong gamitin sa pagsulat ng alternative hypothesis. At kung meron kayong population mu, pwede rin magkaroon ng population proportion na kung saan yun yung parameter na gagamitin nyo sa pag-assess ng claim ng uh, isang word problem. Now, paano ba magsulat ng hypothesis or hypothesis test? So, given an example, let's say Pop Soda claims that be each bottle of their soft drink is filled at 8 ounces all the time. So, pwede, natin, pwede tayo magsulat ng hypothesis base dito sa claim ng manufacturer na to na Pop Soda given that sabi nila, yung kanila daw mga soft drinks, eh, 8 ounces yung laman ng bawat botelya. So, ang pwede yung Null hypothesis would be each bottle is filled with 8 ounces of soda per bottle. So sa null hypothesis, importante na lagi nating uh, bibigyan pansin yung claim doon sa word problem. So ang null hypothesis, paniniwalaan natin na siya na yung claim is palaging totoo. So pagsulat niya in statistical notation, let's say yung mu nyo is the average soda content nitong inyong uh, pop soda. So pagsulat nyo ng... Uh, Null hypothesis using a mathematical symbol, pwede nyo gamitin si H sub 0, mu is equal to 8 ounces. So ito yung mathematical notation doon sa null hypothesis nyo. At ito naman yung description ng inyong mu, which is the average soda content noong pop soda. So mahalaga na pagsulat nyo ng null hypothesis, eh, very specific kayo doon sa detail ng bawat claims ninyo. At doon sa alternative naman, halimbawa, tinatest natin kung totoo yung claim nitong pop soda, pwede natin siyang gawa ng alternative hypothesis na kung saan each bottle is filled with less than 8 ounces of soda per bottle. So pwede natin siyang itest using sample or based doon sa given sample doon sa word problem. So let's say yung mu nyo is still the average soda content, Pero yung alternative hypothesis nyo would be mu should be less than 8 ounces. So ito yung itetest natin kung totoo para ma-disprove yung claim ng manufacturer based dun sa word problem. Now, isa pa sa mga pwedeng uh, isulat sa alternative hypothesis, eh pwede rin siyang gawing H sub A or H alternative is mu greater than 8 ounces or mu not equal to 8 ounces. So ito yung posibleng alternative hypothesis na pwede nyo gawin depende doon sa complete set ng word problem na sinasagutan ninyo. So ito yung pagsulat ng alternative hypo ng hypothesis. Pwede kang magsulat ng null at dapat marunong ka rin magsulat ng alternative hypothesis. Sa null hypothesis, you always use an equation as alternative hypothesis, you will always end up an inequality symbol. Now, dito sa word problem na to, kailangan masagutan natin or maisulat natin yung null and alternative hypothesis base doon sa word problem. So, in this example, Rothany's car averages 26 miles per gallon. He switches to a new brand of motor oil that is advertised to increase gas mileage. After driving 3,000 miles with a new oil, 
He wants to determine if the average gas mileage has increased. Now, state your appropriate hypotheses based on this given word problem. Now, unan yung dapat tingnan kapag magsusulat kayo ng hypothesis test, lalong lalo na sa null and alternative hypothesis, is kung ano yung given parameter. And in this word problem, ang given parameter nyo is your mean or averages ng, ng uh, um, mileage no, ni, ng car ni Rothany, which is 26 miles per gallon. So, ang magiging null hypothesis natin will be yung claim noong new brand of motor oil. So, let's say yung mu natin, since yung parameter na gagamitin natin dito is yung population mean, will be the mean gas mileage of Rothany's car in the highway. Now, yung mu nyo dito sa given problem will be equal to 26 miles per gallon kasi yun yung claim noong advertisement noong new brand of motor oil. So, yung null hypothesis natin, pag sinulat natin siya in sentence form, will be Rothany's mean gas mileage is 26 miles per gallon. At sa symbol naman, pwede nyo siyang isulat as mu equal to 26 miles per gallon. Now, sa alternative hypothesis, meron tayong tatlong inequalities na pwedeng gamitin. Pwedeng less than symbol, greater than symbol, or not equal to symbol. Now, paano nyo madidetermine kung ano yung hinihingi ng word problem? Kailangan marunong kayong maghanap ng mga keywords or clue doon sa word problem kung anong inequality ang gagamitin ninyo. Dito sa word problem nito, na ito, sabi dito, after driving 3,000 miles with a new oil, he wants to determine if the average gas mileage has increased. So, ang alternative hypothesis natin, base dito sa ating statistical or hypothesis test natin, will be yung keyword natin is increased. So, yung mu will be greater than 26 mile, miles per gallon. So, ito yung magiging alternative hypothesis natin sa pag-test noong manufacturer's claim. So, Rothany's mean gas mileage is more than 26 miles per gallon base doon sa gusto nating gawing hypothesis testing. At yan yung pagsulat na no, isa sa pinakamahalagang steps ng paggawa ng hypothesis testing kung paano magsulat ng mga hypotheses.